All right, Ryan Sarancha here with KTM North America. I'm the product manager tonight. We launched the all new 22 KTM 450 SXF factory edition. Uh, so I can take you guys on a tour through the motorcycle, get some close up shots of some of the new features. Really incredibly excited to launch this new machine. And from the ground up, it has been redesigned. Every component has been reworked, rethought, worked through. We've simulated the components through topology optimization. We've done all the, the things you could possibly imagine for, for testing, uh, either by computer or real world testing, bench testing, testing out on the racetrack. We put a tremendous amount of work into the development of this motorcycle since we launched the last factory edition that was the new generation in 2018. So let's, let's go front to back on the bike. Uh, first thing that you're gonna notice is the all new bodywork. We have wider front fender, give you a little bit more protection. Cool feature at the back of the front fender, we have these fins that are built in. Let me turn the bars here. We have these fins that are built in. They do two things. When you're leaning over on the bike, your front tire is kicking up dirt, gonna go right into your goggles. We wanted to offer more protection from that, so we've added these fins, but at the same time, we didn't wanna just make the rear of the fender wider because then you lose uh, flow into the radiator. So we went with this pretty cool, innovative design. Also, these can flex, so if they do pack up with dirt, when you come down from a big jump, it's gonna shed all of that dirt off, so super cool. Moving back, we've got all new radiator shrouds. First thing you're gonna notice on the top of the shroud is it's textured. And so again, when you're leaned over, that actually gives you a place for your boot to hang on to the radiator shroud in a corner. We have an all new contour on both sides of the shrouds, a little narrower here at the back, so you can get closer up onto the tank, put a little bit more weight forward on the bike. And then in the center, there's more material here from the radiator shroud and the side panel, so you have better contact points with your knees all the way to the redesigned fender, the redesigned seat with the new mounting. So bodywork, all new. Of course, underneath the bodywork, we have new frame, updated engines, updated suspension, new rear shock, new subframe, new swing arm. I guess since we're moving front to back, I'll touch on one of my favorite features. We have new switches. So a combination stop-start switch over here, new combination switch with your two selectable maps. Map one is your standard map, map two, the more aggressive. Of course, you've got traction control, launch control, but the really cool feature, now there's a button here that activates the quick shifter. So on this motorcycle, when you have the, the feature activated, you can shift from second up to fifth gear, so all upshifts, without touching the clutch. So inside of the engine, we have sensors. We have a sensor on the shift drum. As soon as there is pressure on the shifter, cuts ignition, so you go through your shift. Once you're done with your shift, the pressure comes off the shift lever, ignition comes back on, and you have a seamless upshift all while not touching the clutch. So love that feature. You can turn it on, you can turn it off if you want to just keep using your clutch the way you're used to. Super, super cool. New frame, all new frame design, especially at the rear where the shock mounts. So one thing that we wanted to do was keep the geometry that's been working really, really well for us, uh, keep the torsional longitudinal flex, but we wanted to change the way energy transfers through the frame. So where the shock mounts now, we've completely redesigned it. There's a forge mount, and no longer is the shock mount connected to the backbone of the frame that goes all the way to the triple clamps. Because the force up through the shock will go into the triple clamps and into your hands. So we've redesigned that, so there's better, better energy distribution through the frame, and as a rider, you're feeling less of that. We also have an all new subframe. Can't see it here, but of course you guys can check it out online. It's now a polyamide fiberglass composite with aluminum spars, so it's actually injection molded around the spars where it connects to the frame at the top and at the bottom. Super cool composite subframe, does a great job of adding a little bit of comfort at the back of the bike, but can also deflect if you have a, a get off out of the track, more likely for it to just come back instead of stay bent like you would have with an aluminum subframe. New swing arm, like I mentioned, took us a year to develop that swing arm, reduced some weight, we optimized the rigidity, Really gone through everything, all new shock. Shock is lighter, a little bit shorter, uh, all new internals, new piston. There's, just, there's really nothing left untouched on the motorcycle. Pretty incredible. Uh, as I mentioned, engines have also been gone through. On the 450, reduced some weight, repositioned the engine two degrees back in the frame. Uh, that's gonna give you better anti-squat, better mass centralization, so just easier handling, 
better straight line on the throttle. We've, we've done a tremendous amount of work to bring this 22 uh, really into the market with every, every uh, piece gone through just to make it that much easier to go fast on the motorcycle. And of course, we didn't stop there. We went and, uh, and did that on the 250 as well. So the updates that we talked about to the chassis would be the same on the 250, except of course for the engine. Completely went through the engine. We also rotated the engine back two degrees, but the total engine height was reduced by eight millimeters. Uh, went through new cylinder, new cylinder head, increased bore, all of that work to, to really increase mid-range on the 250. It had always had great top end. You, you could just hold that throttle open. It would never sign off. And so between the mapping and the new, uh, new engine, some increased compression, increased bore, we've really worked on uh, also increasing the mid-range. Uh, 250 is ready to, to set benchmarks in the class for sure. And when might we see a uh, factory edition on a dealer floor? Great question. We should see the 250 and the 450 factory editions on dealer floors in February. Of course, out on racetracks in January for Anaheim 1.